Who is more easily bored in relationships, men or women? Women. If women are more easily bored, why are they more likely to want marriage and commitment? Status. If women are strong and independent and don't need no man, why does the pressure of marriage and commitment typically come from women? They're liars. Absolutely, no. she needs a job. No! <laughs> the Sinner's Commentary, Season 3, with me, Morgan Freeman. And like that, he's gone. That's your manhood right there. You do yes. not give your manhood no. up under no. what so any circumstances. If you talking about I'm just doing this, like you can give your manhood yeah, up. Yeah, that's you know, a wrap. And, uh, <laughs> 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 because. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> what I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. What's the most important thing that you've learned from your past relationships? A lot of women have mental health issues. For context, this video is about a beautiful woman, dream come true for any man, allegedly. Take this chick back right here. She valid? If she was here right now, what would you say to her? You valid. So we trying to get her? Nah, I'm the man of God. What is that supposed to mean? That means I'm a, I'm a young, faithful Christian man. That boy is good. Mm -hmm. Look at that right here. <laughs> That's all you gotta say, man. That's all I gotta say, what's up? Where your Bible at? What's your favorite? What's your favorite verse? What's your favorite Bible verse? John three sixteen. What's that, sir? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not a woman of God. I don't need you. He called. This morning, a popular social media influencer who falsely accused a couple of trying to kidnap her children now convicted of lying about the whole ordeal. <sighs> of this week, my children were the targets of attempted kidnap. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! 31-year-old Katie Sorensen, a mom influencer who posted beauty and motherhood advice, uploaded... We do not care. ...uploaded this video that was viewed more than 4 million times. And I want to share that story with you in an effort to raise awareness. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. As to what signs to look for. Setting aside the stupid label she gave herself, a mum fluencer, this young mother decided to dig in the Susan Smith playbook. Use a minority, rely on the white, and let the cops fill in the blanks. TikTok has taken root like a virus, infecting you and everyone it touches, leaving the social media giant as a massive idolatrous marketplace, with millions chucking their kids to Moloch. Falsely claiming that strangers tried to kidnap her two young children on December 7th, 2020, outside the Petaluma, California Michael's store. This nah. I believe Captain is lying. Like, you lying. Like, you're just telling them. Everything you coming like, out your mouth think, is a lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonoma County DA's office says the videos were posted about a week after Sorensen reported the supposed kidnapping attempt to police. In the video, Sorensen described a number of details about the alleged incident that hadn't been disclosed to police. She wanted some more views. She deserved, she needed a bigger following. Maybe she had plans on enterprise in the business because remember she's a mom, whatever, influenza. And she used her own children as part of the plan. Now this is not the first time we've seen that. We've seen that with the lady that rolled up that po' boy and cellophane wrap and 
you know, the boy's taken out of the home for a little bit and the lady just lying. Oh, he was laughing and everything. I saw tears on that baby. And, and the poor military man, just as ignorant, listened to his wife, did something stupid. Once again, proving you see why the nature of some of these relationships look the way they are because these damn kids got to deal with the parents that either over, well, what's, what's what I'm looking for, overindulge in them or give them the very little, the little, the least amount of love based on any principle they come up with. How do you send your children and be known as the the lady that got that fake? Yeah, oh man, oh, hey JJ, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm good, man. Who's picking you up, my mom? Your mom's the one that uh, said that someone kidnapped you, right? <sighs> yeah, and she's a mom fluencer, right? What the hell is a mom fluencer? Yeah, they got to deal with that for the rest of their life because, because well, let's egomaniac lady here wanted her views up. Maybe she wanted the the proverbial women's admiration. You know, women drink that stuff up, and other you know other women blow smoke up them. That is a beautiful thing, man. Go, man. If you have ever, if you ever want to go to a women's empowerment seminar. Just spend 10 minutes in there and see if you wouldn't if, if you wouldn't want to go play in traffic afterwards. It is the most emotional, the most masculine, the the biggest circle jerk you will ever find of any number of women at anywhere in the world. It's just it is grotesque. The few that I've witnessed have been grotesque and when i hear others from toastmasters and whatever it's it's not okay to look at it looks like a cult that all these women blowing smoke up each other's butts listening to every single one of them's delusion and know there's christian women in there that are just buying into all of it and then you got like this sorry lady but we got two two on the screen here we got we got uh the only thing that makes uh miss Sorensen's situation a little bit less Cause she just got caught lying. Now, if a dude did this, he'd be in jail for like twenty years. But since it's this lady, and she's nice and sweet, it's just a little ass six months in jail. She'll probably do two, good behavior, and she's gone. Rest to be done to you know to uh, community service. Now, Susan Smith, the killer, and she was she had worse motives out there's out there. Well, why would you say that? Well, her motives. We're here. She was secretly dating a man who didn't want children. The story became international news, even landing on the cover of People. Smith was convicted of two counts of murder and is serving life in sentence in Lead Correctional Institution in Greenwood, South Carolina. Praise God. But here's here 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 here's the kicker. Did it for love. She was willing to sacrifice everything for this man. Good idea. Bad, bad application. If a man don't want no children, women don't be with them. She was so desperate for a man. She murdered her own innocent babies. I like the idea of pursuing a man. I think that's great. But that man is, is the devil. Hell, I'm catching hell and it just being a, I'm, I'm going to stay out of it because I, I can easily go down that road. And I just don't. But the, the tale of two mothers says a lot about what the Bible speaks on when it comes to Moloch, sacrificing your children to him. The, a lot of the Israelites were doing that for favors and things of that nature. Well, women can toss their children out to Moloch when they let the Internet raise their children. When they let the iPad and the phone raise the children because there ain't no man in the house. So the iPad's got to take over. The iPad is babysitting the babies, keeping them, keeping them uh, calm in the back seat of long car rides. And then babies turn into men who don't ever look up six inches to see if there's a woman in front of them. Good job, mom. Or oh, we got the mom that just. Don't even know what to do with the babies, but that man is all she want. So now the babies get neglected. Great job, mom. 
Well, Sue the Smith, Eric, is definitely on the other end of the spectrum of of Sorensen. Look, the only difference between Sorensen and Susan Smith is a generation. Which means thought process is different. She may be a fantastic mom. Not gonna lie and say she won't. Not Susan Smith. She sucks at her mom. But Katie Sorensen might be a fantastic mom that makes horrendous ideas. And her useless, mealy mouth, whiny, emasculated, so called serviceman thought that that was cute. Because he's what, hungry for the TikToks? Look, I understand the military ain't paid well, and that's, that's tragic. That ain't a good look for that ain't a good look for my, my my brothers and sisters that fight for our freedom. That they trying to get their TikTok views up. Oh, Katie Soros, and I'ma go ahead and and uh, oh the other that's not Katie Soros. Katie Soros's husband is not the military. I'm talking about the one that the baby that got wrapped in cellophane. Them that's a whole other story. But you just see a lot of these moms looking for the views. This is what I'm this is what I mean when I'm when I see TikTok for what it is and why, you know, if you see if I'm running from it. And I mean, I because it's just it's too destructive. The pattern of destruction is too great. What do you mean by that? Millions. And millions of adults and young children are interacting with in an environment with barely any rules. More like requires you give your children, it gives you riches. Gave up them kids for kidnapping, staged or whatever, for what? For fortune. Susan Smith, that man, was the fortune. Matter of fact, she was still writing letters to him. That's cr that's that's lust, by the way. Started with sin, ended in sin, and the tragic two babies. They'll never breathe again. Thank God for Sorensen, because she didn't go that drastic. And I, I I don't think she's that kind of mother. I I don't know. She could be. She definitely could be a, a definite sociopath. But just to know that that you was just you was willing to put your kids. I mean, put the community and put other people's lives in danger for view. That Hispanic couple, which let me first give them a, a hand because they still married. That woman's spine is strong. His determination is sure. Um, but what if the police was so, what if you get a policeman that just had it his day? He's not racist or whatnot, but he's just, you know, he's he's excitable. He's trying to get that baby back. He, he comes up to see that couple. He don't know what's going on. They they sitting there with a with a with a, with a they, he got his gun drawn or not yet at least and then he sees that man reaching his pocket and he sees something that looks black and he opens up fire all because he thought these are the kidnappers they are dangerous I don't think Miss Sorensen thought about that did she but she damn sure used that race card ooh lord she pulled that thing out fast oh it was just an Hispanic couple. Just, just any, it didn't matter who, any of them, the Martinez, the Gonzalez, it didn't matter as long as they were dark skin. I was shocked she didn't say a black man. Probably because she was trying to have some equity and she was trying to spread it all around. So it just ain't just picking on black, so, so she don't get confused being racist. But she's racist. At least in this one instance. Because she definitely is going to trust in the cops to do what? Profile. They're trying to get a baby back. They're going to do whatever it takes. Amen to the police. They were going on bad knowledge. Thank God the detectives were like, this is, this smells of stupid woman. I smelled this before. Why, why would you? And then what's crazy, let's, let's go back here and let's hang on a sec. Take a look at this. So the videos were posted a week after supposed kidnapping attempt. A number of details about the alleged incident hadn't been disclosed to police. So not only was the, was, was the trifling lady running her mouth about that. Oh, well, the baby had that on. He was this tall. He had, he, had, he had this kind of carpet. It had this kind of steering wheel. The Hispanic dude had these kind of tattoos. It, it, it went one, two, three, four, five. It was like painting the numbers. She, stupid. 
Because when you're greedy and you're acting in your sins, you ain't thinking logically. And clearly, Moloch was excited about this. Aren't you glad that she didn't get put to the extreme to where she figures she had to do something? If, like if her kids posed a threat to something, thank God we don't even have to go down that road. But can you look at this first when she says, you know, I had my babies uh, attempted kidnapped. So I just want to raise awareness a week later. And she's just as calm, as cold as ice. You go raise awareness, lady. Shouldn't you be raising your arms around your babies thanking God? Shouldn't you be doing something else? But she could not wait to get on that TikTok, dog. That's the whole palace for men and women. It's the whole palace. Because it's effing you out of time every day. And feeding you delusion and lies. I thought the dumbest thing I heard two years ago was, how do you know that story's true? Well, it was on Facebook. Wow. They'd been bad an eyelash. Heard the same thing a week ago. Wow, that story's on, on TikTok. That story's on TikTok. Yeah, man, TikTok. These stories are vetted. What? No one knows what the hell what, what story is true and what's not. And look, and the, if you think, if you're watching a TikTok today, I'm a I'm a I'm a test your stupid. I'm not trying to be funny or be insulting, but let's Look at all the things that you see on TikTok when you see dude rescuing girl and picture of something this this miraculous and it's got they are there at the right time in the right place. Are you high? There's a lot of scripted moments in there. Ain't nobody that funny all the time. Unless you Dave Chappelle. These people are getting millions and millions of views. And guess what? Content gets eaten up pretty fast. 15 minutes, of, the 15 to well, 15 to 60 seconds of content and they're on to the next thing. Uh, your channel better produce. So what happens when you run out of material? You got to start making up stuff. Because you got to look at trends. You got to look at all the things that Moloch will say, I'll do all that for you. If you just uh, go ahead and do this for me. Give me your children. I'll get them success. I'll ensure their future. But I'll also set their death date. What do you mean, Moloch? When the bubble burst, I get, to I get to choose when that happens. So, yeah, they may be making tons of millions of dollars today. They just got that money two, week two, two weeks ago, two years ago, three years ago. They now have to make that money last. They either go continue to produce these TikToks that I want because that's what I wanted, or they're going to start to fall apart. It ain't how much money you're getting paid up front. It's on the back end. It's kind of like the same. It, this, oh, my Lord in heaven. It's kind of like when, when, when a woman comes up and tells you, this is my career, and, and men are like, I don't care. Because we don't. You go to work, good for you. You had a bad day, I'm sorry. You had a good day, fantastic. Let's move forward. There ain't nothing interesting that happens at work that you want to breach the peace of your home. But see, when you're a TikTok lady here, work is home. Children become expendable. Husbands become stupid to join the wives who think some of the dumbest things in the universe that they can do against a child would be acceptable. Moloch is feeding today and women are pushing them babies into his mouth willingly. Because they ain't got no head covering, so they, they, they're leading themselves around. You ever seen a chicken with his head cut off? Similar. Where was Sorensen's husband? Which well, she didn't meet that. She didn't, she met him like a little bit later after that. But where was he at when this idea was sprung up? She had to be dating him or something. Couldn't 
shouldn't he have said, hey, where are the babies? Shouldn't he be, hey, what's up? Was he in on it? Weak, spineless man. Eric, you don't know. You don't know if he would have stopped it. Did he call into the police to prevent it? Did he get her TikTok suspended? Did he get online and say this isn't true? I can tell you this much. If he was a man of courage and he found out about this plot, the plot never would have happened. He would have done everything in his power not to put his family in jeopardy, which means she and their children, because she ain't thinking right. She ain't seeing the views she used to. So let's use let's use our props. Let's do the babies. No doubt in my mind, she's a narcissist. No doubt whatsoever. Sociopath, close. But I just hope to God that they never we never have to see this lady do anything dumb or any other people doing because here's the thing, it's gonna happen. Dudes doing dumb stuff, I see it all the time. It's normalized. When I see women doing stupid stuff, I'm starting to think, where did the parent, where did your mama fail? I understand, dudes, we're knuckleheads. I get it. We grow late and we raise hell. But eventually that tent that tempers down. To where as you get older, you don't do dumber stuff. For these young, these young dudes and these young ladies, it seems that everything is a prop since there's so much money to be made in TikTok. Her babies became a meal ticket that wasn't able to cash out because good old Moloch said, no, 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 no. You better get on that TikTok and do it right. Or you ain't gonna have nearly what you think. Speaking of Moloch, let's talk about him since he is the reason TikTok exists today. It is a, it is a genuine sacrifice to Moloch. Hang on a second. Gentlemen, this is Susan Smith, a mother who drowned her own children, then blamed kidnapping on black men. Disgusting. Lean on people's prejudices to escape accountability for murder. Disgusting. Clearly, Katie Sorensen went to the Susan Smith playbook, stopping short of harming her kids. On the night of October 25th, 1994, Susan Smith reported to the police that her car had been hijacked by a man who drove off with her two sons still in the back seat. The truth, it turned out, was much deeper than it appeared. Susan Smith, a 23-year-old mother of two, reported that her children were kidnapped by a carjacker while she was driving. She described the kidnapper as a black man. It's justifiable for a man to hit a woman. I can't speak for men, but I can speak for myself. You disrespect me, Lord Jesus, look out. And an extensive search was launched to find the missing children, with Susan making numerous public appeals for their safe return safe return. However, after nine days of intense media coverage and investigation, Smith eventually confessed to drowning her two sons in a nearby lake and then concocting the carjacking story as a cover-up. The accused couple, Sadie and Eddie Martinez, say they actually recognize themselves in this photo and came forward to deny Sorensen's claims. She wanted a stronger following. She was looking for, you know, content for her fame and her, her income. All right, let's look at Moloch real quick before I let you guys go. Short video. I'm not going to keep you that long because it was a pretty simple story, but a story nonetheless that I believe needed to be told uh, in a different way, of course, using the center's commentary. Um, listen to this. Older forms of sacrifice sought only to offer a substitute victim to draw the wrath of God, usually a child, as in biblical sacrifices to the Ammonite god Moloch, which is the Canaanite god Moloch. Sacrifice this... Uh, Sacrifice of this order is based on aggression and was often associated with worship of the dead. In the Hebrew Bible, Moloch is presented as a foreign deity who was at times illegitimately given a place in Israel's worship as a result of the synergistic policies of certain apostate kings. A lot of people, a lot of these, these uh, pagan kings love some Moloch. Am I going to win a battle? Bring a baby. Am I going to bring me the men trails? Here's the, the, the idol God that even Israelites worshipped. Why? Because he's going he's gonna to speak and give the way that a human being wants to be, wants to be heard. You need, you need your God to talk to you lovingly all the time and never chasing you when you're doing dirty? Moloch will be right there. I just need them kids. You want to kick your man to the curb because reasons 
And you want to take the head cloth or cover it above you and try to say, I'm divorced and I, I'm, look at me roar. You want to go down that road? Great. Moloch got you. I just need them kids. You want to act out and think that you saved because you feel like you can read minds. Great. Moloch will definitely approve of it, but he, he need them babies. What are you willing to sacrifice? The dire things you willing to sacrifice for your simple pleasure or for your greed? What are you willing to do? Because your kids will have to pay for it. Want to do drugs? Your kids will have to pay for it. Want to drink that wine? Your kids will have to pay for it. Want to do that crack? Your kids have to pay for it. Want to eat all the nastiest fast food you can for the rest of for the next 20 years because it's cheaper and better? Your children will pay for it. Want TikTok fame? Your family is going to pay for it. How do you know? Because now none of them have private lives anymore because you have to have it this way. Because for views, you want to bring your little raggedy kids out and show how independent they are. Which God is up there going, Lord, have mercy. They are not trying to parade them kids. There's some, Lord, have mercy. Let me tell you something. Sacrificing the Moloch is easier than you think. Brothers and sisters, there are, there are fellow believers right now that's got a Moloch statue somewhere in their house. They got a bull somewhere. They all, oh, Eric, it was just a nice heirloom heirloom hell it is a symbol because if if you don't have a man in that house Moloch is the man of that house why because the kids have already been sacrificed one mama two children three children five children they outnumbered she outnumbered the parent the parents outnumbered by discipline it's a dead issue some of the kids go turn up tore up mentally well, it's not her fault. Sure is. If she, if she threw, if, if that man is, if that man, if she wouldn't have tossed that man out the house or for whatever reason, doesn't matter what the reason is. It, we're, now, wait a minute, we're talking about reasonable reasons. Not, we ain't talking about like he tried to set her on fire and shoot her. And, no, 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 no. Uh, he, he, he did whatever. And, and see, we in the Christian house, we reconcile. So we don't separate. We never do. That's just, that is a hoax. That is a myth propagated by money hungry men who prey on stupid women they're the ones that tell women you have the authority you can do whatever you want you, you go right just bring me them babies because you got to teach that to your babies right so that way they continue to carry the mantle man you get to teach your son and daughter your sons and daughters what a real man looks like when you bounce and don't want to come back. You just dip. You stay around just long enough to run tracks and tracks between your uh, during, you know, through your mama, and then he gone. And now you as children got to pick up the pieces. Cause Moloch is right there. You want something? I'll give it to you. I'm gonna need them babies though. Susan Smith murdered her children for a man, a dime, a dime a dozen man. This woman fakes a kidnapping of her own children for views and put a innocent couple in jeopardy with the police over a lie. And where, where was Sorensen's husband? That weak, spineless bastard. I'd love to know where he went. I wondered if he was like, well, sweetie, I don't know if it's a good idea. Did he have any, any, was there any manhood left in him? Or he didn't want to get kicked out the house because she's making money now. You know, weak men will do that. I'll just go, go ahead and placate this because I don't want to, I, I don't want to mess with the gravy train. Turn the damn gravy train over. Spill it all out. Start over, but a fresh, <laughs> on a fresh slate, start over, because God will do it anyway.
Either you do it before he gets to it, or it's going to be a lot harder when he do it. When you're trying to build on crap, and God's like, I asked you not to build on that because I told you it was bad. Eventually, if you don't listen, he's going to burn that thing up. I've been telling folks this for years. When it comes to when it comes to the spirit, and I'm like, uh oh, you might need to get right with God today, brother. You need to get start getting stuff in order because this is I this is the messenger. I'm delivering a woe. We need to get this together, or things are gonna fall down this road. That is just it. I don't get no benefit from that except look, don't don't do don't go don't proceed down this road. Turn back, go another direction. That's what I, that's what a husband should have done. But since he's a Moloch boy. He wanted to go along with or he wanted to go along with it. You know, another thing that 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 really messes me up. Listen to this and I'll let you guys go. I've been saying that for a while now. You know, when we look at we look at Genesis chapter three. Yes, we're back in Genesis chapter three. Calm down. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your pain and childbirth and pain. You'll bring four children yet. What do you mean yet? I mean, she'll desire children. Yes, even though it's painful. Women do have that. I want a baby. Look at God being good. But yet, listen to this part. Your desire will be for your husband and he'll rule over you. You know, you look at that word rule. Look at that. It's a uh, massage to have dominion. Now, I I know instantly what all the, what all the feminist Christian feminist and any other bigoted female out there when they hear something coming from God that sounds chauvinistic I forgive you're stupid there's a reason for this because maybe that man is going to go yeah I don't think this is a good idea sweetie it takes that takes the the the, the buck stops with him. Look, I get that you want to put the babies on camera. I get that you want to put them on a 24 hour camera so they can see our baby sleep for 24 damn hours. But no, we are not doing the kidnapping thing. I It ain't happening. No, I'm going to turn the phones off. You ain't going to, we ain't going to have no Wi-Fi. We're going to be in here like, like, good, what is it? Uh, little house on the prairie. We're going to be burning candles for the next few, few, few years. You keep messing with me. If there was a husband present. This Never would have happened. Susan Smith husband. Maybe he ran out. Maybe she chased him off. Either way, those kids would be alive. I am a hundred percent sure of it. When you got weak men designed and built by weak women because they bend in the knee, accepting bad data. I'm just as smart. No, we're not talking about it. This is not about it. This is the. This is about spiritual survival. By no means are you to bring reproach to God for your wacky beliefs. Just shh. Handlers behind closed doors. We'll figure out a way to make TikTok work without exploiting our babies. See, real man would have done that that's this this story never would have had a chance but you know what happened but you know what happened listen to this uh we got because we have to hear we have to have adam verse 17 then to adam he said so god turned the guns to adam and said because you have listened to your voice you listen to your wife and now this is what i have to do i told you do not eat from that specific tree or you shall surely die. It's not like Adam was surprised. Well, he was when when it hit. When he saw God skinning an animal right in front of him, but before everything was like Bambi and, and, and the Lion King. Everybody just they just running around, hugging lion, licking on. Ain't nothing wrong. The minute they ate that fruit, that lion reached out and scratched that giraffe, chewed on him. Death entered into the world. It ain't been it ain't been right ever since. But God put some safeguards in place for the family. And wouldn't you know it? Women are the first ones to break it. 70 to 90 percent of the time. Because her husband listened to his crazy deranged wife to put babies in a kidnapping scenario 
They get what they get. Thank God for God being the level-headed one, as always. Thank God for those detectives who didn't fall for it. And thank God for that that beautiful Hispanic couple that are still married today. Oh, I saw them rings. I see y'all. Thank y'all for sticking together. And most importantly, thank the justice system. I mean, they, they got it right this time. Not that they don't get it right a lot, but they got it right this time. They... They cut it off before it got worse till people start do donating money to them and they would have started, got a GoFundMe page and find the babies. And then one day they'd have to stage an event where the babies could get returned. They have to stage that, which means that could have been the very factor that could have got someone killed or hurt because they got to put them in a perilous situation and they got to do it while the babies are still young and don't remember. Because if they're children, children will come up and say, look, man, my mom lied. She's a liar. She's straight up lying all the time. My mom just be telling stories. Thank God for children on that part. She's just running her mouth. She's just telling stories. Thank God for God intervening. Smart men and smart women looking into the situation going, no, some don't sound right. Miss Katie Sorensen or Karen Sorensen or whatever her name is. She's trying to rise up in, in TikTok popularity. We're not going to let that happen today. And then babies are safe. I hope them babies are safe. But again, short video, just wanted to show you and Moloch will come up more and more because there is so much of Moloch that is taking place on, on, on TikTok that you would not, it will blow your mind when you see just how much he is represented by figurines and things. It, it will look at the spiritual side of the quote unquote spirit. Hey, you know, let me tell you something before I go, let me clear the air. If you say you're spiritual, nobody cares. Demons are spiritual. It doesn't mean anything. Either you following God or you following your ass. One of the two. And I'm talking about the ass that's dragging you up the, up the, up the, up the hill because you're stubborn. I hear that constantly. Oh, you love God? I'm very spiritual. So the answer is no. Okay, let's move on over here. That's exactly what the answer is. Demons are spiritual. Does that mean that they should be worshipped? Should be said like me and demons? It, to say you're spiritual is to say is to admit I'm too stupid to make a choice. I know that's rough, but it's got to be said. Like I remember the Kevin Samuel story, the lady, are you, uh, you believe in God? Yes. You believe in Jesus? Yes. So you're a Christian? No. Whoa. Time out. Play girl. Whoa. Time. Whoa. Time. Remember no head covering. So that belief system was able to see fruition. It's a bad fruit, but fruit. Nonetheless, anybody eats it poisoned. How you go be a, a believer in Jesus and God, but not be a Christian. You know what her answer was? You can go back and take a look. Well, I'm not doing all the things of a sa that a saved Christian woman should do. Hell, Christian women ain't even trying to do have the things that that uh, that you know the Christian women are supposed to do. That's not an excuse. That's part of the club. Eighty percent, seventy, eighty, ninety percent of the Christian women out there are not doing what they're supposed to be doing because they believe that they don't need a head covering. And God is not accepting them weak, lame, disrespectful prayers when he told you what you need to be doing. It's like God in these women's mind is he's just granddaddy. Oh, he just. Yeah, I didn't clean my room up. Oh, here's some butterscotch. No, you get that prayer shut down. I need to see some obedience here. I need to put you on some house control. House arrest now. Do I need to take something away? I downgrade your job. You need more? But this, you don't just get by. And I'm tired, tired of hearing women and men saying that statement of I'm spiritual is just, you're just stupid. That's it. That's all that means.
Because even a demon is spiritual and it will hide itself better than that. It ain't trying to brag about that. That outs it. You know, when you say you're spiritual, that tells me everything I need to know that demonic op oppression has definitely entered your life. You can always tell by the teaching they follow. It's going to be errant to the Bible. They're going to be disagreeable. And they're going to try to they're going to try to uh, support. I've had to do it with, with voodoo. Had to do this with with. Um, oh, God, I'm letting it go at that because that's a whole other story. And I don't want to segue off to that. But, yeah, you can always tell by the Look, you can always tell by the preaching. When you watch they, and you look do any look through your ladies preaching. Look, look through your ladies phone. See who she's listening to. I'll be damned if you won't find a Moloch statue somewhere in the background. Whether it's uh, on a necklace, oh, you'll see. Anyway, but th this is one of the things why God has put this thing in place, these safeguards. The rule over you is not to harm the women as much as men have done it, but it's to protect. You know, that emotional, that emotional thing that makes women, women, their emotional intelligence, that thing needs to be protected because if that gets damaged, so does her personality. So does her confidence. I know firsthand because I've damaged that with my wife many times until we're sitting in the situation. Now. That's all my doing. So I can tell you firsthand. Make it make them emotions safe. You ain't got to agree with them, but they just need to be safe, you know, tucked away and protected by you. You ain't got to agree with none of them. You can. It ain't even important. What's important is that she's able to speak and talk about these things. So when you hear some errant stuff that's going to hurt the family, hurt her, hurt you, you get to wash that off with the word of the Lord. Clearly, Miss Sorensen does not have that in her home. She is not she is not submissive to her husband. She is not subservient to the word of the Lord. And her husband's weak. Because if any of those things were true, we wouldn't be here today. Mom influencer. Yeah, if you're throwing your kids in the Moloch, I'm sure she is influencing that one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Oh, and don't forget to pimp slap that like button. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen.